the, the first installment of what I hope to be a small series on how we are how we do end scale traction modeling and the different conversions and things like that that are out there. This is your basic Bachman grill car, uh, plastic body, eight wheel pickup. It's got some good weight to it and it has plastic poles. The body is held on using little pins on either end. So when you wind up trying to pull it off, what I found the easiest way to do is to pull the chassis off just a little bit on each side as we go. So we can loosen it all up. Same thing on the other side. And when it pulls out, you wind up getting this. This is the chassis, which is the insides of this one, minus the uh, side frames that just push on it. Uh, nice thing about this unit, again, it's heavy. It separates quite easily. Two screws, one on either side. This one is using blackened wheels. Uh, earlier ones do not use a blackened wheel set. So now that we have this piece off, pretty much what we're looking at is this. And this is just a, it's just a shell. Now there's all kinds of different things that this can now do because of the way that it is constructed. By leaving on the clips down at this end and here and on the other side, we could convert this into almost anything else that's within the same size frame and everything else. This section through here can be cut out in a number of different ways. So let's go over some of the cars we can work to build and how we get there. So if we continue with that piece. By cutting the lower part of the window off, and you can see the difference right here between the two of them. We can build inserts to turn a metal car into a wood for it, wood sided car. Again we run the same set of inserts. Oh, I should have got these reversed. side in. There we go. And again, this slides in on the chassis and we wind up having a wood sided car. Now, additionally, on the front of the cars, let me zoom in on that. There we go. There's riveting detail. So if we look at the original versus the one I've worked with. You can actually see there's detail on the original. It shows three panels across the front and rivets across the top and the bottom. On um, the car that I've been working on, we've eliminated all of those by scraping them down. Here's the wood side car conversion. The other thing that we can do is we can go through and take off all the body panels. So now this is a version of this car. Same roof, except the sides are different. So what we did is instead of cutting back just the lower piece here, we've cut it all the way to the door frames on either side and replaced them with these pieces right here. Now, Bachman cars is, is a very sneaky little trick that you can do with these to pretty much make up whatever you want on the side of your cars. The Bachman Old Timer series 
the 1860 cars like this one. These things come apart extremely simply. They're just uh, tagged on the ends. They pop out on either side and there's a little piece of weight and there's metal in there to, for weight. This is one I picked up at a, uh, at a swap. And you can see damage doesn't really matter because the only thing we really want is the shell. So now with the shell we have a passenger section and a baggage section. Well, guess what? The baggage section really does almost completely fit what you'd want to do for the side of a car. So what this allows us to do is to cut these pieces down and they're the exact same size that fits in on the inside of the cars. So with that in mind, we can now take one of these bodies and literally figure out where we would like the different pieces to go. We can cut this up to, to make different sizes and other things like that. But we can literally s situate this because of the height is identical to the roof line. You keep the number boards and just take the roof off. That gives you all the pieces you need. You can cut and slice and dice that however you want to, but it gives you all the pieces you need to be able to reconfigure this car into relatively whatever you want. So on this car, one of the things that I would be looking to do is to shorten the front edge of the combine, leaving the doors, so pretty much exactly the way it sits right here, cut there, leave this post as much as I can, then trim down this side so it all sits in. So what you would be looking at would be one, two, three, four, six windows and the baggage compartment. And turn this grill into a uh, combine. The other thing that can be done on these cars, because it seems to be almost designed that way, is the way the roof is set up. If you take the monitor roof off, there's ridges on either end. Let me zoom in on that. That allow you to be able to roll a piece of styrene across the top of that, and that will literally give you the round top roof that uh, you can use for other cars, especially express cars, can be done that way. So, you wind up having a oops, full freight, zoom out a little bit, a full express motor. We can now build a combine out of this. We can woodside the car and by using parts from from scrap and for, for kit bashing we can change the car and change up the windows on it turn it into pretty much anything you'd probably want, like to, to look at for this so that's pretty much all I've got to say on playing around with the brills at least for this so, time. My name's Ted Roy and we'll talk to you later